tick-tock It's beer o'clock So what have you got to lose? Tick-tick-tock It's beer o'clock With Slosh and Buzz Hi, this is Slosh This is Buzz Welcome back to Beer O'Clock With Slosh and Buzz For season five Week two. Week two. We're pretending that we're not nervous. No, that's right. <laughs> we got it all out last week. So if yep. you're still here, we're fine now. <laughs> anyway, we are back again, like I said, for the November run. First run of season five, 2019. We have a theme running through all of these beers. That's something that links them together. Uh, it might it be could, something we say. It, it could be a be, phrase. It could, you could, it could be a, more than one word. It's not one yeah. word. Not definitely. Yeah. It could be one word. But it might be but more. it might not. It and it might. could be something in the title of the beers that links it all together. It could be in something we say about the it beers. Could be it could be something, something about the brewery. It's something we agree to say but forget to. Yeah. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, up for grabs is a jar of Billy's Bounty Ken's Tombstone Reaper Cushion Hot Sauce. We're guaranteed to burn your ring out. It is the hottest thing that the Billy's Bounty makes. They are very good friends of... Well, me and, and the show. I don't know yeah. if you've met them. I don't think I've met them. They are fantastic. So they make they make ca chili caramel slice. <laughs> They're so good. Anyway, what have we got for you this week? We have something from the masters themselves. Garage Project, Irish Street, Wellington, New Zealand. Doing Charlie Chaplin with the, <laughs> with the spoons. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a beer, folks, <laughs> called Bug Powder Dust. All right. Getting up in there with the... Mug one. Cheers. Mug once. All right, we got, a, <laughs> we got a juicy hot bomb in a hazy base brewed exclusively and with. And that band is Bomb the Base. Bomb the Base. Yeah. Oh, about about them later. yeah, we got to get into that after this description here. Yeah. A juicy hot bomb in a hazy base brewed exclusively with a new form of super concentrated lupulin powder, the product of a cryogenic extraction process which separates. Aromatic resins and oils from hot plant matter. You know, almost sounds how they how they get something else out of some other plant. The uh, black the black <laughs> dust from the uh, sea centipede or whatever it is, the deep sea centipede. Mm. I was talking about weed. I was, anyway, I was talking. The green gold. I was talking about naked lunch. The green gold powder produces. The green gold powder produced <laughs> gives this beer a massive, mellow, juicy hop hit with none of the harsh kick of vegetative cone material. Man, vegetative cone material. Yeah. That's what stoners are. That's right. <laughs> it is. In a word. But Three hop, words. I believe hops and marijuana are from the same uh, family. Yeah, it smells so good. Um, all right. So, so kick off your shoes, relax your feet, and crack open a can of this lupulin treat. All right, we've got a 5.4% alcohol. We've got 1.9 standard drinks. We have... Two pants. Two pants. <laughs> uh, 440 Dude, mil. <laughs> artist is Rebecca Borg. Rebecca Taborg. Yeah, can artist for this, Rebecca Taborg. Imported from Norway. Imported by Cask Norway. Yeah, so that's two from Norway. We didn't do that on purpose. This is Garage Project, man. Yeah, I know, but it says like Norway. Maybe that's the hop. Imported by... No. <laughs> Cask Norway Oslo. Set. <laughs> okay, well, no, that's the people that are importing it into Norway and into Sweden. So if people... If we're doing that in Sweden or Norway, we'd read that. But we didn't need to do that. So uh, he's already fucking poured it as well. So... I, Jesus anyway, Christ. This, this it's cost, all over the shop. This cost us... Uh... 8 each. Oh, this is the same price. I was supposed to read that. Same price. Yeah. Same yeah, price as the last one. <laughs> this one's from this Norway. Is ten this times. one goes to Norway. Yes. The, it, this one goes why. Norway to get to Norway. No. <laughs> no. No. Look at that, folks. No, cask Norway. This Talk smells, about a hazy hot bomb. fantastic, man. We got that beautiful gold have, color, have, a, have a sniff of those hops. Them hops. Them, them hops. Them, them rabbit leg hops. Whoa. Way more than this nonsense. Yeah. Is this an IPA or a pale? It just says it's a juicy hot pot, eh? It's just, just bug powder dust. It's bug powder dust. We're going to Interzone tripping. Alright, cheers my friend. Heading up the river like you're looking for Kurtz. 
Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Mugwump gives them up in every verse. Ashes to ashes, bug powder dust, stick it in your mouth. Go, Cam, go. Go. <laughs> yep. Oh! That's, that's amazing! Now that's a <laughs> fucking beer, man. That's fantastic. Wow. I turned into Dom Deloise. At such a, like, what I would consider low alcohol percentage. But that's 5. such a full, full flavour, flavor, isn't it? That it is, is like, fantastic. It, it's literally like a fucking top I think it neighbor. stole that one's hops. It may have done. Maybe the bugs came it, out well, of there. They were both on the hops. same boat, like in the Relic. Remember yeah. that thing that was in the Relic with Tom Sizemore? It was eating all the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> from, from the, yeah, yeah. 90. <laughs> you remember the Relic, right? Vaguely. He was at like a museum and I think people were getting bitten in half and stuff by the monster that was the the archaeologist guy. Tom Sizemore. You know, I know Tom Sizemore. He, yeah, well, you yeah. know, he was in um he was in Saving it. Private Ryan, but then he got addicted to meth and then he was in like weird porn. Right. Yeah, it was like Tom Sizemore's like ass something. Ass ties more? Like <laughs> ties more. Tom Sizemore's ass cries more. He should have done like teaching kids how to tie their shoes. Mm. Tom Sizemore ties more. Some ties more. Ties more. <laughs> Paul ties more. That sounds like a name. Anyway, it's a good beer. <laughs> this is fantastic. Look, you I can tell it's good when we just go fall back into like rambling bullshit. But wait, just, no, no, like the relic was out in the nineties, just like bug powder dust. So right about what, the same time as species and all that sort of thing. Before species. Before species. It was when Tom, Tom Sizemore had the bullet that was fired, right? Like, this, this is fucked up that I remember this. I this saw it at the movies. No, no, this is fucked. He had a lucky bullet. He was like a cop who had a lucky bullet that yeah. someone had shot at him, but it didn't go off. And then at the end of the movie, when he had to kill the monster, he had to use that bullet because it was the last bullet. one. And the lucky uh, bullet went off when he needed it to. Yeah. And I remember that, but I shouldn't because I've seen it once in the 90s. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, well, <laughs> dude, it was out before most of you were probably born. Yeah, so, there you go. <laughs> Look, I've got to I'm, say, I'm Garage sorry. Project have outdone themselves again. This is an absolutely fantastic beer. I cannot They're put my good. finger on all the flavours going on in it at the moment. And it doesn't have, like, any It doesn't this... have the harsh kick of vegetative cone material. And it doesn't have that sort of cardboardy taste of the lower alcohol Nipah type. Mm. Is, you know, if, if there's not sort of a six percent or above, they seem to lose that. Do you think that's you? Booze? Do you think that's you over time? Because I, could I be. know that I very could rarely be. buy sub five percent alcohol beers anymore, but mm. I, I don't normally have more than one a night. So, but I, I like the flavor of the the bigger beers. Yeah, I feel like they bring out more <clears throat> flavor somehow with that higher alcohol percentage. Um, anyway. Jesus Christ, I could drink this all okay, day. Okay, so man. what I'm going to do with this, this I'm is... going to say in the glass, it's hazy, it's cloudy, it's beautiful. Uh, it's not necessarily in the right glass, but we did our best, so shh. Yeah, it's all we could find. We'll get you know some what? IPA glasses. But you haven't you haven't worried about it now, so yeah, till now. Well, so well, they might have commented wait. last week. Yeah, they could. To all of you people yeah. who might have commented last week. On the fence we did our, our glasses, we are sorry for the glasses. We'll be back in week four with the plastic ones. Yeah. The red ones so you can't even see it. <laughs> We'll just, we'll just hide it. So be grateful yeah. we're using plastic cups, grateful, God damn it. Anyway, um, in the glass, it looks fantastic. 9 out of 10. Can, I love it. It's a mouthful, just like the beer. It's beautiful. It's fun to say. Vegetative cone material really rolls off the tongue. This does the same. So I'm going to go 9, 9, pres this is presentation. Presentation. Presentation, yeah. 9, appearance, 9, and taste. I'm going to go 10. Yeah. Because yeah. I... Well, I'm going to admit, I was a bit disappointed in this one. So our, this was, our rating of this one might be slightly affected by this one, but do not actually no no this that's a good very that's a good fantastic. point that's a good point. I'm going to go nine purely because this could just be like a yeah. little bit above average. Yeah. We may have a beer coming up later in the run that he might want to rate. Higher. I'm going to go I'm going to go <laughs> from six 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 to nine nine nine. So it's an upside down six six six. Yeah. Yeah, mirrored upside, is it? I don't know, that one. Nines. <laughs> <laughs> I did Dropped that to throw him off his game. Alright. Oh, I am going <laughs> to say... That's a pre-perf again that time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it, because Garage Project always go all out on their can art. You can hardly fault them. 
There's some weird ass shit going on in this can. Yeah, let me look again. Definitely some naked lunch bugs going on there. Well, and uh, that th this one looks almost like a walrus. I'll give it a uh, eight on the can art. I really love it, but it's a bit monotone. I want it. <laughs> I want this as a fucking poster. Uh, in so my room. Eight on the can. In Thank the you, glass, I'm giving it nine because it's a beautiful haze, poured a beautiful head, and taste, I'm giving it a nine because this is actually quite spectacular for the percentage that it is. You could have a this few of these and not to come worry. back. And they're big boy cans as well. So... It's not like we finished the last group. one. No. That was in a big boy can. We would have been like, it's too much of it to waste. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather shit in my own mouth. <laughs> would we? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do well, that? That's all right. What's, what's the physical... I'm sure you use a someone's system? done it. <laughs> I wonder who. <laughs> we got a glass table with a hole in it right here. <laughs> anyway, folks. The hole... <laughs> For an umbrella for the sun, not for poops. <laughs> That's not for poops. Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where to go from there? Week two, uh, we're back. Uh, week two, Steve. done and bog powder dusted. Ashes oh, to ashes. So bog powder dust. We will see you next week, folks. Because we must. Yes. <laughs> well done. Yeah. 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 It was good. So yeah. Casual. Uh, there's a competition. <laughs> Theme. Yeah. Do it. That was delicious. Good beer. Like so much better than the one before it. Fuck yeah, man. I'm just letting it run, see if anything comes out. Uh, I'll <laughs> later, dude. <laughs>